this will be my updated tier list for Diablo Immortal for PvP. And before we dive any further, this is very important to note. It will be my personal opinion. And so you can disagree with me, that is totally fine. I would encourage you guys, let me know in the comment section down below. How would you guys rate each class right now for PvP? And I will be reading your comments. And now that is out of the way. Another thing, if you don't know, this is my current bg season as a wizard so if you have not been following me this is where i stand as of me recording this right now and i've been playing with 4400 reso with dot cc type of wizard build now that is out of the way let's dive into the uh, tier list itself starting with the barbarian i think it won't be all that big of a surprise if i Put Barbarian here in the S tier. Uh, a lot of survivability for Barbarian can be very impactful standing on the idol, even if you are a small player. All you have to do is just go on the idol as a defender or as an attacker. Just go on the idol, take the hits, and either stop it from moving or just stand there and uh, keep moving. You don't need to like even do damage just be there and you will be very impactful but barbarian can do a lot more than that it can pull the enemies towards itself and deal some huge damage and uh, there is a new horta build for barbarian that is dealing a lot of damage like one short thing so a lot of stuff happening right now for a barbarian and it's a fun class to play as of right now in bg next we have a monk i don't think i have to say all that much again for this class it did end up getting some buffs and new essences and uh, honestly the best build that i have seen for monk right now is the one where the monk is spinning something in its hands and coming at you and dealing some solid amount of damage and it has like a lot of tankiness with that build I think that is the best build right now that I faced from a monk and I would put this like in a C or B or between if I would I like if I could I would put this in between B and C but just to be safe I'll put this in the C tier even though I think a monk can be a bit higher than the C tier then we have a demon hunter demon hunter can deal a ton of damage it has few different build available the strafe build the scape build and the summon build and again can go with few different builds either with the dot or direct damage and uh, can be really annoying on the battlefield if the person knows how to move around and play with the demon hunter but again i will be putting this class in the a tier it is by no means in the S tier unless it is played by a very big whale who is just hitting you and killing you on the spot then it gets really really strong but most demon hunter are not even close to that then we have the crusader uh, crusaders are strong they can tank a lot and they can provide some buffs i would put this class like in between a and b but I think I won't be wrong if I put this in a B tier right now, even though it can be really impactful. Other than being impactful, there isn't much happening. Like I have not seen players having fun with the Crusader or that much like they used to before when they were really, really strong with some of the buffs. Now they are not all that great, but still, like I said, I would put the class like b plus if i could but this tier list does not allow so i feel like it is like this and then the next class is the necromancer necromancer with the new gem wolf heart got a bit more stronger with the dot build a lot of survivability borrow time red form dot this class has been really strong uh, i would say this is like a bit better like a plus but i will be putting this in the a tier right now because honestly i believe 
barbarian and uh, only one other class truly is the s tier right now in the current meta all right the next class is the blood knight blood knight they end up getting new build as a summoner doing some dart really strong if one knows how to play it i would say b plus but i think i won't be wrong if i put this in the b tier the probability of the dart builds is still not good enough that would make people switch from barbarian uh, necromancer or tempest to blood knight because they have better options in the other classes if they want to play some dart next next class is going to be the tempest tempest has been on the top since it came out a lot of survivability with the shields cc immunity a lot of mobility dashes and now you can serve and shoot as well and then you have the wind walk i believe so that is a skill where you drop and just stand and just spam your skills on the idol and people around you die and you just uh, go away dash away when the skill goes down so really strong uh, on the top of that the zephyr or the summons that the tempest has has really fast uh, speed of stunning uh, the enemy once you hit them you can stun log uh, someplace really easy so i truly believe these are the only two classes which deserve to be s tier and then wizard wizard is just basically support if you think you can play this class as a, a battle mage that is not going to happen because right now we don't have any options on the wizard that can avoid the cc or crowd control effects so you have to stay at the distance and play as a support class providing some cc freeze and you can also go and combine that with the dot and uh, i truly believe this is where the wizard stand a bit higher i would say again like b plus but this is how my tier list looks again this is my personal opinion after playing the season over 100 games you guys saw my bg results so this is my personal opinion but let me know in the comment section down below how would you guys rate these classes a bit different i know if you are playing a barbarian your tier list might look a bit different i am playing as a wizard the whole season and this is how i see uh, all of these classes right now in the current meta i'm signing off see you all in the next one you guys have a great day later